All right, so let's try some Mountain Dew Hard Baja Blast. Zero sugar. I tried this about a year ago, and I kept a couple cans in my collection, full cans. I still got all four of the other flavors. I still got one more Baja Blast, but I'm saving that. So let's uh, try this. Like I said, I tried this about a year ago. I didn't really care for it. These are very mediocre. They're not really that good, to be honest. So I didn't go to any other store this week because I was sick. And I'm out, out of uh, quarantine tomorrow. So, but I couldn't go to any other store this week before tomorrow. So I didn't pick up any other sodas last week. I was going to go to Dollar Tree this week, but of course what happened, I got COVID, so. Anyway, let's try this. Try Like I said, I tried this about a year ago. I didn't really care for it. It smells nasty, right? I mean, Baja Blast is usually pretty good, but it smells nasty. I don't know about this. I guess you should not, you should probably not have it for, for a year. Because that's nasty. Usually soda doesn't really go bad, but this kind of went bad. <laughs> no, no, this tastes like. That Welch's Fruit Punch that I tried about a year ago or so. This is actually totally disgusting. I really wouldn't try this. I, again, I wouldn't try this again. Even if it does come out to my state, here in New York State, I wouldn't try this again because I'm not a big fan of these hard Mountain Dews. Um, the one I really want to try is the Live Wire. I heard that one's good, but the other ones are mediocre this one is really mediocre i would say that this one is probably a three out of ten honestly i love baja blast but not in this form it doesn't do good with alcohol to be honest it doesn't do good with the malt which is alcohol it does not do good so I, baja blast is just good by itself no alcohol needed this is not good this is not what i like for baja blast so i would give this a three out of ten Peace.